You know, I have a good time playing Overwatch, but sometimes I feel like people aren't taking it too seriously. Wouldn't it be great if there was a mode in which everyone would be serious? I mean, this is games here. This is no joking matter. This is serious business, right? Competitive mode coming to Overwatch in June. Announced in June, then said it was going to be in July, and then reversed back to June. It's coming in June, I think. They might change their mind again. I don't know what, what's going on at Blizzard. How's it going, everybody? Force here. Today, I'd like to talk with you about competitive mode. Are you guys looking forward to it? Do you think it's going to change the way the game plays, the way you play it, the way other people play it? And um, do you think the system that they have in place is one that you're interested in? So let's cover the bases. Competitive mode is going to be a, a new gameplay mode coming later this month that lets players climb in ranks each season, and where they basically fight off against people of equal skill in best of three or best of five series. Now, the gameplay mode is going to be locked until players hit level 25. So the idea behind this is that you're going to get people who are at least experienced in the amount of playtime that they have. Whether or not they're good or bad, it, but at least they're experienced with the game. They probably know a lot of the heroes. They know all the maps. You know, they've got a good idea of what's going on. By that very nature, you're going to assume that this is going to be a more competitive mode. And hopefully, it results in more balanced games. What do we mean by balanced games? Well, I've talked about in the past how there's a good percentage of the games that I play that I feel like either my team is just dominating or we're getting dominated. And why does that happen? Well, that happens because matchmaking might not be that great and, and in terms of uh, judging matching people up of equivalent skill when you get a stomp in either direction clearly something's amiss or someone's just you know eating their lunchables while they're playing the game but <laughs> <laughs> Barring that, you're assuming that matchmaking isn't good enough. So the question then becomes, is competitive mode going to be enough to make a difference? Now, you might be wondering, but this sounds like a great mode for a team-focused shooter. Why wasn't it here at launch? Well, uh, Jeff Kaplan in a recent interview talked about how a lot has changed with competitive mode. They're still working out some of the things and trying to figure out exactly how they want to structure it and how certain features work and all of that. It's gonna work in seasons. They were originally planned to last one month. That's how it was in the beta. However, due to player feedback, they decided to actually extend it to a longer duration, a three month duration, or to be exact, a two and a half month duration with a couple of week break in between, sort of to build anticipation to the next season and to just give people, give people some time to maybe goof off and quick play for a while. For Those two weeks are gonna be hell for the casual players, mind you, but you know, say la vie. Why would you want to go into competitive mode? Well, besides having the level gate of 25, you know, it's called competitive mode. It's got a ranking system. And the way it's going to work is as you play, depending on how much you win and how much you lose, you're going to level up in tiers and in divisions. You climb up the tiers until you break into the next division is essentially how it works. And then there's a highest level, like a master level or whatever you call it. And this is just a way for people to kind of show other people their skill level because everyone likes that now right now the current level system really doesn't tell you anything about skill it just tells you how much play time someone has you could lose every game and be a really high level it's just gonna take you longer because you get more experience for winning but you can still level up as high as you want if you're just playing a crap ton but the idea behind competitive mode is it's gonna rank people in a better way among their skill level and I think this is gonna make for better games it's gonna make for less stomps because you're not just relying on the MMR and the entire pool. You've got the MMR and then you're divided into your tiers and your divisions, which will sort of further narrow the scope of people you're playing against, which will likely give you a better match, someone of equivalent skill. So that's a good thing because you know what? It's not fun, obviously, when your team gets destroyed, but it's equally not fun when you're stomping all over the enemy. It's not a challenge. Victory feels pretty shallow at that point. And then the other notion is that if for those of you who are just looking for something more serious and more competitive, you're tired of that guy who's, you know, playing Bastion on attack or whatever, and you're like, this, these guys aren't being serious, and like, no one's picking a healer, no one's picking a tank, I pick one, but then the other one's missing. Well, hopefully, competitive mode is going to alleviate that. Now, of course, you're gonna have people who just screw around, you're gonna have people who aren't taking it seriously, but I think the opportunity for better, more equally matched, and more competitive games is certainly a lot more likely in competitive mode than in what we currently have, which is quick play. So besides leveling up in these tiers and these divisions, 
Uh, competitive mode is also going to give you a new form of progression. So yes, you're climbing these ranks, which is great, but then there's also going to be rewards off of those, like unique sprays and portrait borders and then other visual items that they're still kind of talking through and trying to figure out. You know, it's, it's rather interesting. It's not a huge deal if we have to wait a few more weeks to play competitive mode, but it is curious that this thing just wasn't here from the get-go, right? I mean, this is a hero team class-based shooter. You would figure this is uh, an integral feature, a competitive gameplay mode, a ranking system, if you will. And while it is a bummer that it's not here yet, they're they're obviously trying to make sure that they do this right, and I don't blame them for taking their time. And then who knows, maybe they're still looking to do some balance changes as well. I mean, we have heard uh, official responses from Blizzard that they're looking to make changes to possibly nerf McCree, to possibly buff D.Va as a few examples. Like, maybe they still want to balance some, some stuff out. Maybe they wanted a little bit of time before they said, all right, guys, here's the competitive gameplay, go at it. They want to make sure that we're, we're going at it as uh, even as possible if you will. Uh, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video, talking about competitive mode. Uh, a little bit different from my normal videos, because this isn't, I mean, this isn't what I planned to do today. I had to start over, because they lied about the delay thing anyways. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about competitive mode. Are you looking forward to it? Do you have any ideas that we haven't discussed here that might be a good implementation or maybe some things that they should do? Do you think the two and a half month seasons are too long? Are they too short? Uh, what do you think about the level 25 barrier to entry? Do you think that's too low, too high? Again, I'd love to know what you guys think. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.